Valentine's Day 2020, Manchester City's soccer team was banned from UEFA competitions. Today, we're going to look into the story behind their ban. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. To understand the gravity of this ban, we need to rewind the genesis of the financial fair play regulations introduced into the United European Football Association in 2011. These regulations aimed to ensure that clubs operated within their financial means, preventing excessive spending or financial mismanagement. Enter Man City, a club transformed by the huge investment of Sheikh Meshur in 2008. Suddenly, a team that was far from the pinnacle of English football found itself propelled to the forefront, backed by this significant financial muscle. However, not everyone viewed City's rise with unwaverly applause. Suspicions and murmurs within the football community surfaced, questioning the shift in extravagant spending. The UEFA initial forays into investigating the club's adherence to the FFA policy in the mid-2010s and cast a shadow of doubt over Manchester City's financial practices. Question loomed about the club's compliance with the newly established financial guidelines. The organization enforcements enforced sanctions in 2014 penalizing Manchester City for breaching its, its regulations. Yet, this sanction served as a prelude to the huge events that followed. The 2014 sanctions signaled the beginning of a turbulent chapter for Man City, hinting at a deeper issue in the club's financial management. The turning point arrived in 2018 with the bobshell leak of documents that showed Manchester City's financial affairs and put them in the spotlight. The leaked documents opened in a Pandora's box, exposing irregularities in Manchester City's financial dealings, raising the question about the club's practice. This led to a landmark ruling on Valentine's Day in 2020, imposing a two-year ban from the UEFA competitions and a substantial fine. The ban stemmed from the severe breaches in not reporting their financials correctly, and a lack of cooperation during the investigation. This was a watershed moment, and it sent shockwaves through the soccer world. Manchester swiftly appealed this ruling, but the immediate aftermath of the ban was uncharted territory, and they were basing for a financial storm brought on by the ban. Without being able to compete in these UEFA games, would they be able to sustain what is necessary for a, a European League club? As the dust settled and the appeal judgment loomed, it offered a glimmer of hope for Manchester City. All in all, they were banned a total of two years and fined 30 million euros. A huge fine, but hopefully now they know how to be compliant and the rest of the teams in the organization know to shape up and keep on the straight and narrow because if teams don't follow these practices it could lead to the teams ultimately folding and having less soccer in the world thank you for joining us on today's daily sports history if you like this go tell a friend about all the sports history you're learning and come back tomorrow for daily sports history